All right, so I'm doing a postmortem analysis of the webinar experience that I just had this week. Uh, I did it in two different time zones. One was uh, for the Australia Asian time zone, which also is for America's evening. And then the second time zone was, um, which is, by the way, that was Monday at 6 p.m. Pacific. And then the second time zone was um, Wednesday at 9 a.m. Uh, that's for Americas and Europe. Anyway, so um, this was the model of free to attend paid recording. And I have talked about this for years uh, as a model. And I, I did it starting in 2016, maybe even 2015, I started doing this model. And I love it. I love the model. And um, the one I just did was the only, the only instance of this model I did this year. So I, I felt like I had to try it again because I had, I've been telling a lot of, my, a lot of you clients to, 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 to try it out. And I, I still, I highly recommend it. Basically, it's where uh, you would put together a top, uh, you know, a webinar, a one hour, basically interactive lecture um, on a topic that uh, you poll your audience first, which topics that they would be most interested from, from you. And then you, you, you do the one that's well voted. And, um, uh, and it's just like it sounds like the title, free to attend paid recording, meaning people who sign up and attend the webinar, they of course get the experience for free. However, for the people who don't attend or who, um, yeah, or, or who later want to buy it, they can buy the recording. And so this one for me was a free to attend but they can also pay $30 to get the recording. And because I had so much material, I ended up having, instead of the same webinar in two different time zones, I did part one and part two. So, but for each, for, but, but the way I split up the material was that uh, each part had significant uh, and, and uh, you know, rec well-requested topics for each part. So, so that whichever one they attended, it didn't feel like, oh, I missed out on the better one. It was each one had at least one or two questions that was well, uh, what that was well rated. I mean, that was popular questions. And um, so in terms of the numbers, I want to I want to share it with you so that you can see why this kind of thing uh, is is useful. When I usually sell classes through my live launches, live classes, um, you know, they usually, uh, let me just, I mean, literally look at my number so I can give you accurate, accurate stats here. I usually get, um, you know, uh, by this, you know, something like 60 to 70 students for a live class, um, paid, paid class. So six, you know, 60 ish, 65, let's say. And for this one, Okay, so, so again, for my paid classes, about 65 on average sign up, right? For this one, where it is free to attend, let me give you the actual numbers of those who signed up. And in my sign up process, I was very clear that they had to, uh, you know, when they, when they signed up, they, they had to answer a few questions. Are you sure you can be there because you are taking up a spot? If you can't be there, it's a limited number of spots. And I started out really with a limited number of, I started out with only a hundred per, per session because there was a Zoom has a limit of a hundred attendees per Zoom meeting. And I have, a, I have enough of an audience where um, it actually went to a hundred within a week of, of announcement for each session went to a hundred, close to a hundred. I'm like, oh no, I'm not. <laughs> So I, I ended up upgrading my Zoom account just for one month to 500 attendees per meeting. It's called the large meeting package that I bought. So it's an extra $50 and you could just buy one month add-on. So that's what I did. And so for the Monday evening one, ended up being uh, 300 and, oh, sorry, 185 signups, 185 signups. And out of the 185 sites, so, so let me get, for free webinars, usually free webinars can expect between 15 to 35% attendance from those who signed up. Meaning 
if using those same numbers, if 185 people signed up, I can expect between 28 people and 65 people to be there live. So somewhere between 30 to 65 people live. That's what I can expect. Well, because of the free to attend paid recording model, they have much more incentive to actually show up live. So instead of you know, maximum of 65 people attending out of 185 signups, I had 133 out of 185 signups, which calculates to 72% attendance. So that's double the maximum attendance that anybody usually gets for a free webinar. This is why, okay, and then what about, what about today's, the, the one that was the Wednesday morning uh, one? The Wednesday morning one had, uh, let me just do the numbers here, 269 signups, 269 signups. And out of the 269 signups, again, if I was doing the regular free webinar model, I would have a maximum of 94 attendees, which is already quite good. However, instead, I got 211 attendees. 211 attendees out of 269 is 78% attendance. Wow. So the average attendance, 72 plus 78 divided by two. So average attendance out of the two sessions was 75% attendance. I mean, that's astonishing. That's even more. That's, the funny part is that that's even more attendance than my regular paid classes. Meaning like my regular paid classes, 65 people sign up, maybe 50% will attend the live sessions. And then the other 50% have optimism that they can eventually watch the recordings. <laughs> Which, of course, as we all know, we don't, if you don't attend live, what's the chances that you're gonna actually watch the recording? It's not super high. So 75% attendance of a live, webinar, free webinar especially, is extraordinary. And then thankfully I did have some sales uh, of, of the recording pretty much right afterwards. And, um, but that wasn't the point. The point was I wanted people to engage with the material. I wanted people to also experience me teaching and, and the interaction. Um, what I learned between, and I learned something already between the first session and the second session, okay? So the first session, I was so eager to say, I've got six questions for topics prepared to teach you all in this hour. Well, guess what? I could barely get through three. <laughs> I basically got through three topics. I think maybe, maybe I squeeze in the fourth one at the very end. So I want to recommend, so here's what I did instead. For the second session, I said, okay, I was... I basically barely got through three in a comfortable pace. I'm going to promise them two for the second session. I'm going to get through two questions. So what I did was I created a Zoom poll with seven questions that were already voted on that, that uh, was popular questions already. These seven were already popular. But I had, I had, so at the beginning of the session, I welcomed everybody. I thanked everybody. Oh, I also, very importantly, I recruited two people who had signed up that I knew were going to, well, I, I looked at the list of people who had signed up, right? And I picked two people from MasterHeart, from, from you know, the, the, my, my client group that I, I you know, longtime MasterHeart people who, like knew my stuff and, and, and knew it well and were tech savvy and could, could support. So I, I recruited them to say, hey, would you mind uh, you know, being my co-hosts for these? Meaning you will just keep up as much as you can with the chat. It was very fast, but just, just glance at the chat. And if you see any problems I should know about to unmute and let me know. So I, when, I, when, I, when I went on the call, on the webinar, I made sure to mute everybody and uncheck the box that says allow people to unmute. You know how when you mute everyone in a Zoom call, you have the check box that says, do you want to allow people to unmute themselves? Well, I made sure they could not unmute themselves. 
um, because I only wanted my co-host to unmute. Okay, so anyway, um, so at the beginning of the second session, I took the poll. I said, choose two of these questions that you would be most excited for me to, to discuss today. And then I shared, you know, the Zoom, the way the Zoom poll works is the, the poll pops up in front of them. They get to do multiple choice. Oh, I'm going to pick these two. And then I can end the poll and then I can share the poll results. So the poll results are right in front of them. So they can see, ah, these are the two questions that were most voted on. So in other words, I had the approval of the audience to go ahead and just cover two questions. And that was great. That felt so spacious to me. I'm like, oh, so I just have to cover these two questions. And I think I was able to, I think I was able to cover a third one at the end. I think so. I don't remember now. But, but then I'm, I actually was able to end the session on time. I, I know you never, you never heard of that from me before. <laughs> that I end a teaching class on time in one hour. I was actually even one minute left. So I finally squeezed the one minute out and ended up being 30 seconds over time. But still, it was so I was very happy to have done the experience. Um, and so this, how do we apply? How do you apply this free to attend paid webinar, paid recording thing? It is perfect as a lead up to either selling one to one services or recruiting people into a group program of some kind or a more in-depth course. Because after today's experience, um, if I had made the offer for MasterHeart, which I actually, it coincided that I actually posted about MasterHeart to my social media this morning. I hadn't timed it, I hadn't planned it to do this, but I'm like, that's perfect, actually. Um, and not surprisingly, I got, you know, half a dozen requests to, to go to MasterHeart right away. So, but I didn't, I didn't even talk about MasterHeart in the webinar. I didn't even mention it. They just happened to see it on social media for the few people who happened to see it later. It just happened to be a good coincidence. So I recommend before you launch, especially any kind. Now, you know, people do this already, right? For, for, for in-depth group programs, people already use webinars to, to recruit people. But the problem is they usually just do it as a free webinar it's not free to attend paid recording. They just do it for free. And then they say, oh yeah, you can sign up and you'll get the recording. And the whole thing, not the whole thing, well, much of it is a sales pitch, right? The free webinars that lead up to the group program is usually most of it is a sales pitch. But for me, I was intending this to be a product. So 90 to 95% of it was all teaching only five to 10% was mentioning that I have other courses. That's it. So literally this morning, for example, I taught for 56 minutes. And then I talked about my courses for three minutes. So that's, that's literally 5% of an hour, right? Three minutes out of 60 minutes. Now you could do 10% of an hour, six minutes out of 60 minutes is also not too much to talk about a course or a group or something like that. And of course, you can follow up email about the paid thing if you wish to do so. But the vast majority of it, the, those who attended my free webinars, these two sessions, fill out the feedback form because then they get the recording for free. Those who buy the, my product, their 30 day product that comes out of this, also get additional bonuses. So that's what, and I want to show you on the screen what that looks like. Um, so that's, I told them at the end, hey, if you want to fill out the feedback form, here it is. And you fill it out, you'll get both recordings and the notes for free. However, if you felt like this was so worth it and you were able to, it's not a financial hardship to, to, to just easily make a decision to say, sure, I'm going to just pay for this too. You, you know, I, I, I would love your support and you get bonuses. And uh, basically those who bought receive these additional bonuses, you know, additional videos that are related to what I was talking about today. So kind of going more in depth. So anyway, it's a great model. I really recommend it. And let me just see if those who, he who are here have any questions. So Gregory, yes, you have an observation about, yeah. Yeah, I just- And, and you were there on-, on I, was the there. Yes. I was there. I was there and I was there 
as one of the people who's already somewhat a veteran i'm a, a yeah. new veteran in the yes. past year working with you during the past year right um some people have worked longer and some people i know were brand new just being introduced yes. to many you know one one of your offerings um yeah and in fact i would say like free to attend is a wonderful ex- way for people who have been on the fence about working with you or just even experiencing what you do to say well let me just go go for it it's a topic that i want and wow, instead of paying for it, I, I get to, you know, and so it's really a great, great uh, intro, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, um, and I was, I was really appreciative of the notion of uh, part of what draws, what has drawn me and from word in the, within the community, it, it seems to be a common theme is the authentic part of your being an authentic marketing uh, c- coach is, is that it, it comes less from an ego um, sort of uh, lack consciousness of trying to get and acquire and is led more from a heart-centered service consciousness of, you know, I'm, I'm here to, to minister through the ways in which I'm gifted and skilled and how, how can I serve, how can I serve people? Um, so with that said, I'm very, my radar goes up when there's something that seems to fall more into the other category, when there's like, for example, um, false urgency or scarcity closes and those kind of things that we've, we've talked yeah. about, yes. which I experience to be completely absent uh, in, in what you model and what you share. What's interesting to me about the, this model of free to attend, pay for the replay um, model is it feels very congruent with coming from the heart um, and serving freely and without attachment. And at the same time, so this is both an observation and a question. At the same time, I'm aware that there might be a place inside of it, someone participating that some measure of FOMO um, might show be activated, like, well, gosh, I don't want to miss, and then I don't want to miss, and then have to pay. <laughs> yes, right. If, if I, if, if I want to, like, <laughs> right, so, so right, that, right. And yet, yeah. at the same yeah. time, what's interesting to me is so there's there is that, but at the same time, it's really feels for me in it congruent and in integrity yeah. with this frame of there's no attachment. Right. I just, it's like right. the way I hear it is like, yes. I'm going to be making a feast. Yes. I'm going to be making a feast where there's plenty for everyone to come and enjoy and be nourished. Yes. Um, yes. The, the only difference is there's going to be a feast where we're going to have the opportunity to be present live in person. And there's yeah. no charge for admission. Come enjoy right, the feast. Right. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I so appreciate you saying this. Yes, I do agree that. Um, and on, honestly, I probably could have done a better job of how I described the whole. You know, I, I, I said on this on the page, the webinar registration page. You know, question: Is there is there going to be recording? And I said, here's how it works. If you're able to attend live and fill out the feedback form afterwards. I will send you the recording for free. Otherwise, you can buy the recording later for $30. You know, so that's how I phrased it. I could probably have done an even better job and say the reason why I, I'm giving it for free to those who are able to show up live is because the experience being live, in my opinion, is, is better. I'm not better, but it's more, it's more fun for both. The attendee and for me, I really appreciate seeing people show up. So as a thank you, I'm going to send you the recording for those. And if you can fill out the feedback form at the end, I will send you. Know. So so yeah, I think I think if how we phrase that will be will be part of the uh, you know how it shows up as an as an authentic and and genuine expression. Because I really I really so appreciated those who showed up. It was so much of a better experience. If it was just like three people who showed up, I would I would have felt discouraged. You know, I would have felt, you know, I mean, but for those who are just starting this experience, having three people show up might be great. 
Um, but given that I'm, I'm used to like, oh, I want at least dozens of people. I'm now spoiled. Oh, at least dozens of people to show up. Then I, then I feel like I have a, I have a crowd or something like that. But, but yeah, it's like at, at every level of, of our uh, webinar development, uh, we have a different minimum number that makes us feel like, okay, people actually showed up for this. <laughs> you know? So I, I just, it feels very congruent and it feels like um, it doesn't feel like working someone's FOMO, it feels more like, no, I'm simply offering an incentive. Yeah. It just feels yeah. like it's, it's incentivized. And yeah. even that, you still have the option to, right. to, yes. to, 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 to actually buy to actually or buy. to buy by giving a little care back, by giving some feedback. Some feedback. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. I, I think I'll just say, I'll just kind of reiterate. I think actually we need to, we need to, I, I kept saying that this is a webinar that's free to attend next week. You know, that's what I said when I marketed it. I think it's good to frame it that way rather than kept, rather than continue to, uh, ra rather than in our marketing of it to emphasize so much about the free webinar, free webinar, free webinar, webinar I see this is a, you can even say it's a value web webinar that happens to be free to attend next week or you can buy it later. Free to attend live live next week next, yes yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so beautiful but yeah thank you thank, thank you very good and yeah. I, I also want to show one more thing before we before we uh, finish this topic one of the benefits is that you can get i mean naturally testimonials from this um and i wasn't expecting testimonials but it's part of my feedback form my feedback form it says hey if, if you really love this would you be willing to give it you know are you interested in giving a testimonial and then they said yes and um, some people, some people say yes, and then they give the testimonial. And then, and then at, the, at the end of the testimonial uh, section, it says, and if you want to take it even further, you can copy and paste this onto my Facebook page so that it's, it's a public you know, testimonial. And so what happened was, let me show you. Um, I'm on my Facebook page. I click on reviews, the reviews tab. I click on most recent and look at this. Two hours ago, four hours ago, five hours ago, six hours, six hours, you know, six hours, like within 24 hours, within a week. I mean, because I got some testimonials from the month from the Monday session too. Within a week, here are something like a dozen testimonials. So reviews. Great. I mean, it's like usually it'll be like two, three months before I get another review on my Facebook page. And within one week, there's like a dozen. And so it's just a great way, especially for those of you who are kind of like needing to revive your Facebook page or wherever your link, you could ask for LinkedIn recommendations, you know, or whatever. LinkedIn recommendations is a little bit harder. People have to like connect with you and everything. Uh, or you could simply gather testimonials for your webpage or for your website rather. So anyway, so that's, that's that.